Good morning. This is uh, Thursday, September the 1st, 2022. Time to start a new video. I just got back from stretcher size. Trying to stretch out some of my muscles. They're a little sore from all that scrubbing yesterday. So I'm, I'm taking a day off today. Try it again maybe tomorrow. But it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. There's lots of sunshine. It was 52 this morning when we got up. This is Friday and Larry's got a good looking lasagna ready to go in the oven. You know, it's going to be so good. The lasagna's done. I know it's going to be good. This is Saturday. We went into town this morning and we went to a yard sale and I got some tea candles. And then we went to the Rams rack and I got a hundred piece puzzle. There it is with no glare. And then we went up to the garden, and I uh, found some black-eyed Susan seeds I wanted. And Larry picked a little green pepper. It's not very big. It's uh, almost 4.30, and I just got off the roof again. I've been cleaning it up today again. I got another 10 areas done, so I'd say I'm almost halfway. Maybe not quite, but pretty close. It just takes a whole lot of scrubbing. So there won't be any scrubbing Sunday or Monday. I don't know if I'll get back to it Tuesday. We'll wait and see how my muscles feel this time. They should be better. It shouldn't take so long to get, get better. This is Sunday, September the 4th. In the afternoon, we'll get a nice little afternoon rain shower. I went down to play shuffleboard. I worked the 25 cent puzzle that I bought and there's one piece missing right out of his face. But that face was hard to do. I needed a five-year-old here to help me. Oh well, I got my 25 cents worth out of it. This is Tuesday and Larry's off to uh, shuffleboard. The rain has finally stopped. We went down yesterday to the uh, yard sale from Land Harbor, but it didn't, um, it just rained so much. We just turned around and came back home again. I think we got about two and a half inches of rain. Goodbye. Oh, it's car. Yeah. Oh. You headed that way? Yeah, you want to ride? Uh, I think I'll drive this. I might go somewhere else. Okay. <laughs> He's forced. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> this is Wednesday morning and Larry's going off without me. He's going to see a man about some somebody's horse stuff and I think something about coins. I had some pineapple open that was going to get old so I made pineapple coconut cookies with it. They came out pretty good. Larry's back from uh, his trip and he got rid of all of his horse stuff that he wanted to and an alligator hide. This is Thursday and we're going into town. We're just looking at the clouds there above the mountain. There's not a lot to film about our garden plot here. We're number 23. But we got three spinach plants came up. And a little spinach. Oh, there's one. The potatoes are growing. And we picked another squash. Still a little squash coming. And Larry picked a green pepper yesterday. And that's about it. We, did, we had squash plants come up and Larry dug those up to take home. There's one little cabbage there. It's kind of been eaten on. 
stopped over here for a last look at the waterfall a little closer up. It's right here practically in town. I'll go up and get the other one too. Go climb a little more. Oh, I guess that's the path there. I just came straight up. So beautiful. This is Friday morning, the 9th of September. It's about 8.10. And we're ready to leave to go back to South Carolina, but my fuchsia is going to bloom again. Well, it's already blooming a little. And buds. I hung it back up here on the porch. The hibiscus has a pretty blossom on it. We don't have much in the back of the truck. We'll have coolers here for our meat we're picking up. When we get a quarter of beef, it'll probably last us a year or more. It's 8.21 and 60 degrees. Here we go. where we get our beef. That little tiny building down there is where it's at. I called the lady that runs it. Their house is up on top of the hill. That we were almost here. They got their shed full of um, hay. There's a dog and some guineas. See you later. Yeah. She had a new little puppy. log trucks going slow. There's another big truck in front of this one. Just like this one. This is Saturday, September the 10th, and we checked our sweet potatoes here in the uh, raised bed, and they're ready to dig. We got one hill and started on the second one, Doug. We got some really Nice big potatoes. So now he's pulling the vines out so we can get to dig them. We just dig them by hand. This is our third hill. 
and it had a lot of nice potatoes in it. We dug the sweet potatoes that was in this pot and got all these. This one right here broke in half when was trying to get it out. But we got that's all from one pot. Larry planted some beans. Those look like rattlesnake beans. They might have just volunteered. But there's beans on there. There's more beans. And these here are uh, field peas. You shell them. This is all the sweet potatoes from the raised bed in that one pot. And Larry found a watermelon. He says there's one more out there yet. And we still have another pot of sweet potatoes way over there to dig and the ones in the greenhouse. Larry still got a lot of mowing to do, but it's too hot and humid to do anything now. We'll get the sweet potatoes when it cools off, maybe this evening. There's the piles of vines. We're on our way to Tammy's. It's um, a party for Kathy's 30th birthday. So we're going to help celebrate. Hard to believe that she's going to be 30. We brought some sweet potato vines to give the chickens. But they're not, they're not coming over too quickly. They must not be very hungry. Probably not. Mm. There's Pansy or Petunia and Henrietta. Everybody else is back there. There's Lucy. Yeah, they came out to them. We just had to move out of the way. There's Lucy and Ethel. Kathy's getting her picture taken. Okay. Steffi's watching. biggest life. Those are sparkly. Yeah. Matching nails. Mm -hmm. Oh, on your fingers too. Yep. Kathy's photogenic. She makes oh, good yeah. pictures. Put the flowers on the. Yeah. I don't know. There we go. Yeah. Hold up. Well, I'm organs in between here. Okay. There we go. The food's coming together. And royal. Corn, shrimp, potatoes, sausage, fish, all the potato chips. <laughs> Birthday nutrition facts. I'm out for serving a hundred, a love, a thousand. Celebration, a hundred. Birthday wishes, cakes and candies, hugs and kisses, surprises, happiness, smiles, memories. Family and friends, all those are a hundred. Thirty, happy birthday. Kathy's up there. Dessert table. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kathy. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> 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 I'm here at Betty's. It's Sunday afternoon. We just been looking at things and pictures and having a good time seeing each other. Toadstool. Um, oh yeah. What are those? Toadstools. Mm -hmm. It's Monday morning. We're back to digging sweet potatoes. We got this other bucket here. Now he took the vines all off of them. We got all of these potatoes. That's like half a basket almost out of that one tub. That's really great. And this one's just the right size potatoes too, not too big, not too small. This is the sweet potatoes in the greenhouse. We're going to dig some of them. It's too many to dig all at one time. But they've just taken over. 
so we'll see if they produced anything or not. But it sure is a bunch. The vines are even growing up the wall. All the way to ceiling. There's a big wasp nest right here in the corner that we're going to have to take care of so we don't get stung. Well, we got all the sweet potatoes dug out of this side. All the way down. Down on the end there was more, a little bit of, the end of it was garlic bed and we got four, four or five little pieces of garlic. But here's the sweet potatoes. Got a nice basket and another with smaller ones. But that's everything that was on this side. The, the far end down there didn't have much of anything. It was too dry. And one tub here was didn't have anything in it. It was too dry. These are the sweet potatoes we got from this other side. But there were some spots where the onions and garlic and carrots were that there weren't any sweet potato vines. We didn't plant any. So, And in this bucket, there's a few in the bottom from one of the other places. But I'm still pleased we got a big crop for us. We put all the sweet potatoes here on mats to cure. Let them dry a little bit. That's quite a few potatoes for two people. These are the bigger ones. We put these little ones here on the floor in the TV room. Grateful to have all of them. This is how much rain we've had since the last time I filmed it before we went back to North Carolina. So it looks like four and a half inches. Well, it's Monday morning and I'm here to mow uh, Betty's backyard. It grew pretty quick in the last month, especially the highway grass. She's gone to the eye doctor right now to get her eyes, see her regular visit. Well, yard's all mowed. Well, just as closest to the house, and I did the weed around the building. So that's all we're going to do. I'm going to run Betty over to Walmart. She'd pick up some medicine. She had her eyes dilated, so, and lasered, so. I'll just run her over there. This is Tuesday, September the 13th. It's about 9.15. We've cleaned in the greenhouse here, trying to get ready for the next season. But it got so hot and muggy, just sweat just drop, dripping off of us. So we would decided to just do this one half and finish tomorrow. So we got all the vines out of the big pots and got the leaves and dirt all swept up on this side. And back here by the door, cleaned up some. Oh, there's another leaf. It gets tracked once you uh, clean it up. It still comes in. And this isn't as much. I got it to do tomorrow. The worst was on the other side, I guess. There was fire ants in a pot I was cleaning out and didn't realize it. And I got about five fire ant bites on my hands. And Larry got spray and sprayed them. This is Wednesday morning and I came out about 7 o'clock to finish cleaning the greenhouse. So, looks a lot better, I think. Beds are all empty, ready to plant again. Got all the vines off the uh, cattle panel. All the buckets lined up. beds all ready to go. I'll film it from the other end. It's all nice and clean. It won't stay this way long. But it's 
nice to start with. Larry came out yesterday and planted eight cabbage here in the raised bed. And he's got some white potatoes planted down on the end. Eight cabbage in here in the pots, there's a cabbage. And then he's planted the acorn squash we had started. We still got one little cantaloupe there growing. Don't know if it'll get good or not. The other watermelon we picked it and it wasn't good. We had to throw it out. It was too green. Just didn't develop right. They had boneless, skinless chicken breasts on sale at Food Lion yesterday. So I got two packages. About ready to put them in the oven and bake them. And then I'll freeze them. And I cut off the fat to make broth. We were starting to get a little low on chicken. Now, I called about our internet this morning. The battery was beeping. And here they were about three hours later and replaced it. So that was good service. It's 1028 and 65 degrees. And we're headed back to North Carolina. Larry went to his family doctor this morning and uh, got his cholesterol checked. So we're done with everything down here and we're free to go back. We stopped here in town to get a milkshake on our way here at Cookout. So that'll give us energy to drive. There's the mountains. That's what Laura likes. Well, we're back. We got here about 5.20 tonight. Got everything put away already. Need to put my flag out in the morning. Let me see if I can see Grandfather Mountain. Flowers are doing really well. Here's Grandfather Mountain. It's got a little bit of fog on the top of it. Low cloud. Well, I guess that's all for today. I'm thankful we got a safe trip. Good night. God bless.